Greetings, everyone. So I wanted to do a quick uh, read. Uh, I hope my camera does not die because it's on 30%, but I wanted to see what are they not telling you that they're dying to tell you. <laughs> so we have uh, the tree card, hey, and what's that's telling me is this person may be learning a lot right now. I feel like there seem to be um, kind of like, they have a lot of things that's presented to them and they're really trying to make the best decision for themselves i feel like they're growing here or they're trying to mature to be a better friend as well this could be an ex-friend or a friend that really needs to work on themselves or they're working on their friendship or they're learning to be friendly be a good friend or a good partner some of them may be tapping into their um ancestral roots or they seem to be kind of like out in nature a lot all right, so let's start over. Let's see what's going on. That may be just for, to grab the audience right there. Mm, the king of spades with, what is this? How do you say that? What flower is this? You guys want to big up yourself in the, I can't figure it out. <laughs> My mind is not thinking on that right now. Is that lilies? I feel like this person is very passionate or they're, they're very like, um, I heard a Kindle spirit. They may be very attracted to you in more ways than one. <laughs> wink, wink. All right, beloved. What is this person not telling my viewer? I feel like they're very loyal. They very, uh, I feel like they're very loyal to you. They wait for you. In some way or the other I feel like they're they're attracted to you sexually this may be a friend that or a, something someone that you had in the friend zone or had you in the friend zone and what they're not telling you is they're really attracted to you they have some type of desire or loving energy towards you that's something that they're not telling you but they like to be playful this person may be very playful or they get very playful when you come around i feel like you bring a lot of harmony this person may look at you as part of their soul family or it's a spiritual connection with the lilies <laughs> all right tell me more beloved what is this person not telling my viewer but they're dying to tell they're dying to tell you Mm. all right so yeah so these cards flipped out i saw the dog but i didn't see the fox so this person um may have not been too trustworthy in the past i feel like this was a friend or somebody that you had a casual relationship with maybe you guys wanted to go a little further with them but they kind of was like sneaky or had this shady behavior you couldn't trust this person but they seem to be very playful or they would get very energetic when you come around i feel like they want to play with you now or they want to have play time but with the cross being here it's almost like uh it's almost like um then there's needs to forgive or there's been grief here or there's a confession that needs to be made. I feel like this person wants forgiveness. I heard the word stop. All right. So it's a king of pentacles or king of diamonds. We had the king of spades. So it may be a earth with air or air with earth or this is a collaboration between the both of you this person has a lot of deep love for you it's very sincere but they have a lot of cunning ways about themselves that are very sketchy about them maybe it's a person that keeps you at arm's length and they tend to be very secretive and it's like it's causing them a lot of grief that they're being this secretive with you i feel like they're very burdened and in pain because of it we have the official person so this person may want to be that official person in your life but it's like they're not they're being secretive about it i feel like you don't trust this person or they have did some things that prove to be prove them to be very untrustworthy or they looking at you like that i feel like this person has a lot of pride they choose pain uh-uh it's like pride is forever pain is temporary is what i heard so they may have that kind of philosophy mindset they have a lot of pride they have a lot of 
ego or it's a lot of pride here so even if they're in pain or they're hurt you would never know because they are very secretive about that but they want to they show you this good time they show you this good time i feel like this person is very insightful or they look at you as a very insightful person Mm, yeah this person has a lot of pride they want to be recognized for being strong but they could be very burdened and in pain but you would never know this person is suffering this person may be going through a lot of hardships right now and they're suffering wow who is this person beloved what and what? <laughs> what are they wanting to tell my viewer that they're dying? They, they can't tell you, but they're dying to tell my viewer. What is this? Journey. So they're on a journey. They had to take... This could have been very sudden that they had to go and it feels like they sneak away or they ghost you, but they are on a journey. And, you know, it may be a very slow journey or... It's something that they dwelled on for a long time and they had to go and you may felt you may feel like they have ghosted you or forgotten about you or they have snuck away from you and you feel like they're trustworthy. But this person is on a journey here and it could be something that's very burdensome to this person. I just heard on a train to glory, we have bad health cards showing up with marriage. So this person may have gotten married. They may have snuck away and got married or they were married. And this is why they were so uh, secretive. Uh, I feel like this person may have had um, burdens of sexual addictions as well. This person could be sexually addicted to you. This could have been someone that you took a trip and you met or you took a trip to see them and they were being very secretive. They were totally different in person. Uh, this could have been a very sexual relationship as well. And I feel like now you know this person is not trustworthy. So what they're not telling you that they're dying to tell you, this may also want... They may also want to say that they want to marry you or they see you as a lifetime partner, but whatever pain, I feel like this person has, we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So this person may not have been who you thought they were or who they portrayed themselves to be. This person may have had issues with money a lot and they may have had to travel a lot for money i feel like this person is uh, has this entrepreneur mindset or they have this certain type of uh, level of success that they want to achieve in many ways in some ways this person is very loyal to you or they're very loyal in the thought of you with the bad health and the uh, cross it's like they have a lot of burdens they may get sick a lot or um, they were sick and this is something that they're not telling you I feel like this is not going to resonate with all of you but somebody here got married to someone that was sick it's like that was their last um, that was some type of last request and they got married to someone who was in their last days Ugh. this is something that you didn't know they're married to someone that's sick that's in the bed that can't move this is something that they keep hidden but it's like you know they're not trustworthy or they themselves know that 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 they're not trustworthy and they're not telling you this this is burdening some to this person this is painful or there's a painful situation. Now we have the queen of pentacles. So we have the king of diamonds, king of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. There's a married couple here. There's a married couple here. It's either they want to marry you or they see visions of you as their life partner, but they have some type of addiction or some type of health issue that's burning in them. That's very painful or it's causing them a lot of pain. This is very secret. Nine of cups. 
energy. So this person may have overindulgence in food, in drinks, and they may have high diabetes, some high blood pressure. It's something that's exhausting them really, but they're putting on this facade as if they're happy. It's like, fuck it, life is good, but it's really uh, a journey that they're on here. I feel like somebody's pregnant and bedridden as well, or somebody hey is a planner, a wedding planner, an event planner. You may have met this person on a trip. This could be a convention. You met someone hey. You may have nurtured this connection or this relationship, attachment, whatever it is. You nurtured this thing. You seem to work well with others or you pair up with others to be successful. This may be your person as well. Both of you may be in this king and queen of pentacles of diamonds. If this person is not married, they want to go on a journey with you, but they deem themselves tr untrustworthy or they may have shown themselves to be very untrustworthy and prideful and you may have seen this as not good for you. It was a burden to be with this person. There's some secrets here that this person is not telling you and this could be very much the secret that they have some type of um, addiction that's affecting their health. This could be the fact that they secretly want to marry you or they're secretly married and... Uh, this is Pisces energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Could be. You know what? I need to hurry up, you guys. I'm sorry. This could be Capricorn with Sagittarius energy. There's a lot of secrets here on the full moon of uh, Scorpio, which is the 7th of May, I believe. So this person may come and tell you what it is, but this person uh, choose to move away from this relationship. This person has moved away to recharge or they have decided to ghost with the sneaky fox. They have a habit of ghosting. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so somebody suffered from consequences here. This was a karmic person or they were married to a karmic person or this was you married to your karmic that caused a lot of health issues. There was too many secrets. There was a lot of insecurities and fears. Somebody's tormented by this. Somebody dreams about this. But because of their deceptive behaviors, they were very strategic on keeping things secret here. Uh this person could have a lot of hopes and wishes when they're not with you. But again, they put on this persona like, I'm good, you know. I'm emotionally content. Or you may bring a lot of happiness to this person. And coming towards you is something that they want to do. They want to play. But they have a very untrustworthy air about themselves. They carry a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of trouble. They may want to confess that. Or this is a dark night of the soul that they're going through and they would like you to accompany them. But it's a lot of karma or they feel like your destiny. And this is why they go and come. They sneak away. They don't say anything. They feel like your destiny. But they're not. They're sneaking away or they're choosing not to tell you. And this is very confusing. This puts you on the fence. But there's abundance of love or there's abundance of money or wealth between the both of you. This person has chosen to uh, take a chill pill here. Somebody decided to rest. We have bad health with the Four of Swords. This person is very exhausted on this journey of this dark night of the soul, of the journey of uh, destiny. But I don't know, with that Seven of Swords and that Fox card, it's like they're cho choosing to keep it secret here. Somebody's choosing to keep something secret here. You know, the fishes could talk about finances. It could talk about wealth between the both of you. Somebody self-employed, that entrepreneur mindset between the both of you. You guys are on the same energetic wave. You guys are very successful in your own world. You could be parents. You could be somebody that works well with others to bring more abundance to your life. But it's like somebody needs to take a rest here and they're not. Or they want to take a rest um, from a marriage. Or again, they have snuck away. Uh, they ran away. 
because they're afraid of commitments. This is something that they're not telling you or they're afraid of the thoughts that they have about you. The moon card could be telepathic as well. Could talk about um, dreams. A lot of dreams here about wanting to be with you with the nine of swords energy. We have nine, nine that's coming through. We have three nines that could uh, indicate that they want some type of change or changes is happening around this person. They're finding their life part, their life path or their light business. Somebody has doing that their life purpose. They're a light worker opening to a new vision here, or they're having a lot of divine love, uh, between the both of you with the nine of pentacles. But again, with the seven of swords energy, that could be very deceptive behavior. Now, um, this could be Leo, uh, sorry, it could be a Leo, but it's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of, uh, a energy. So this is a lot of thoughts, uh, with no communication, just sneaking away, running around, running away with the Fox energy, being very coy about what ones is thinking. Hey, could have been a lot of trickery. This person could have tricked you or a lot of lies. It could have been cheating with the swords as well the seven of swords and the moon and somebody caught an sti an std and it's like they're in pain they're needing a cure here or they've been diagnosed here as well this person may be very resourceful with the seven of swords with the king of pentacles king of diamonds they want to get back to this goal or they want to attempt to get away with what they're really thinking, but it's playing on their uh, thoughts. Hey, they could have a lot of prophetic, prophetic dreams as well. So let me see how much time I have on my phone. I'm gonna wrap it up really quick because, like I said, I'm very low hey on battery. This was just what they're not telling you. So this may be a lot of things that they're going through on their journey here with the train. Wanting to come fast, wanting some type of fast uh, travel to you uh, because they feel like you're a good partner. They want to play, they want to play time, but they may sneak away again. And it's because they're hiding some type of pain. They could be hiding some type of diagnosis too as well. So you got to be careful. This person may be a drug addict or a, a alcoholic and it's, it's fucking with their health. Hey, this could be insecurities, fears and secrets that they're not telling you some lies. Some of you, they, you could be helping somebody cheat. Hey, but they feel like this destined that they ran into you is destined to come back to you. It's just that they need to face a lot of their insecurities and their deceitful behaviors. This could also be coming to the forefront with the full moon in Scorpio. I hope I did mention that it's coming up. It's right around the corner. We have like code three, one, three. Okay. So this is your door. It says sunset time hair turns to release and unfold old cords of pain fade as the sunlight's burned. All right. So like I said, pain hair. So this person may be in pain that they have to, uh, go through this dark night of the soul of their deceptive behaviors of lying and cheating. Uh, when it comes to you, I feel like this person wants to marry you. And if they're married, it's like they have to release that person, that old cord, uh, in time, in some type of time frame with the wheel of fortune. It could also be talking about, uh, Hmm. Yeah, this may be some type of tradition that they often sneak away from or they sneak away to do or it's a family that they sneak off to some type of home or roots uh, sunset time here turns to release. So somebody wants to release something here and it could be confessions of something that's burdening them. That's causing them to um, be very prideful. It could be that they want to tell you that they have released a marriage or uh, they feel like it's destined to marry you. It's, they feel like you're a life partner here with the queen of pentacles energy and the king of 
pentacles and or diamonds but it's like they're deciding to take a rest a chill pill from it they have to regain some type of energy pipe dreams so they could have had a lot of false start or wasted a lot of time with you with this deceptive energy just playing around not knowing what they wanted and you know maybe somebody packed up and left and it's like everything became clear but it was painful it was a burden to see the reality or, or the truth and when somebody gave up we have a lot of tens there's a completion here as well they may want a home they may want roots with you and this is again a secret this they're very insecure because of their cheating ways call me i have so much to say i want a heart-to-heart -heart conversation i want honest opportunities hey i want to tell you the truth will you listen this person wants to clear the a eh, narcissistic traits all right so this person uh, you know, this person may be someone that's just looking up for supply and they see that within you. I'm sorry to say that, but it's like you, somebody needed to recuperate from this whole, uh, ordeal life partner. So your life partner may be a narcissistic person. And this is why we have so many deceptive cards here. So, you know, this person might not care about anybody else but themselves. And this is because they have a lot of ugly insecurities and a lot of addictions that's bad for the health. So this person is actually bad for your health because they have a lot of narcissistic traits. Ah. But the time here has come to release that. And I feel like this person knows that with the Nine of Swords energy. They know that they cannot return to you with this coy, seductive, uh, love bombing type of energy. The time here has come. Karma has been dealt. Hey, it's an ending with all of these tens. They want to talk to you. They possibly want to work out some type of business deal or some type of successful plan with you. But again, they have to tell you the truth and they may be running from that or they want to spill a secret or some secrets was spilled. Hey, and they try to run away from confessing or telling the truth. Hey, because it would be painful so this person wants you to know that they feel like you're their life partner they feel like you were destiny because you make that you fulfill their happiness and they know they have caused you a lot of pain they struggle with that at night time so your narcissistic person may be having some type of um ending with their old behaviors but that's just what i'm seeing from the cards it ultimately the choice is always yours the, the regardless of what the cards are saying here this person wants opportunities with you. Like I said, they're loyal to you. They're loyal to the thought of you. They see you as wifey material. But this person has a lot of ugly insecurities. They have a lot of transformation and things to deal with that they may be running away from strategically uh, not dealing with it as well. So yeah, go and big up yourself in the comment section below if you resonate. If you don't, it's fine. Just don't leave your crummy uh, comments because I'm not going to go back and forth with you like what I mentioned in the previous videos. I'm not up for that. You can't stop the shine. You can't stop the flow here on the hourglass. The sun is still going to be going, honey. <laughs> All right, so I feel like this person has learned some lessons here with the Wheel of Fortune. Could be a fixed sign, somebody that's fixed in their ways, and they're now seeing how much detrimental, how detrimental these behaviors are to their life, to their partnership with you, to their marriage. But it's like, is this person trustworthy? Can you really trust this person with all of these secrets if they're not willing to tell you? So the sun may have set on this thing. The cords, you may have cut the cords. It was very painful with this person, but it's like you're nurturing yourself or they see that with you. I feel like this person comes into your dreams. They hold on to your energy a lot. Yeah, so check you guys in another video. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.